good morning, or what I hope is going to be a good morning for you. Uh, just for some context, this video is filmed in mid-March 2020. Uh, hopefully it will be released about four weeks later, four or five weeks from when I've uh, videotaped it just at the start of all this coronavirus panic stuff. So, uh, what I'm doing today is putting together this single chip um, AM radio. Uh, basically it uses this one little tiny, looks like a transistor, but it's not uh, chip and then it's going to have one transistor for the uh, audio circuit for a little bit of uh, amplification. And I built this from a, or put this together from a schematic off that I got off the internet. I have no idea if it's going to actually work. Uh, when I did build, build one on a perf board or on a uh, I kind of got it working. Uh, the problem I had was that I couldn't seem to tune anything but one station. Uh, problem with that, is, the reason for that is that I'm next, very close to a transmitting antenna for a clear channel station, and so it kind of just overwhelms everything. So, anyways, I'm going to try to put this together as quickly as I can. I done, did everything I could to. Uh, make it faster by sorting all the components. So we're going to just start with the resistors. And let's see, we need R1. Now these are all, I think, quarter watt resistors. And R2. R3. R4. R5. Okay. Now I'm going to do the capacitors. Let's see one. Uh, these capacitors, with the exception of the electrolytic, are poles from other equipment. That's here. And C3 and C4. Okay, let's get the solders. Something I've noticed, uh, these uh, boards made from JLC, PCB, and probably other ones, is that the solder pads are ridiculously tiny by default, and uh, I don't really have equipment for soldering such small things. My hobby was mostly uh, fixing tube radios recently, and so most of my soldering tips are for that level of work, which is not as detailed. Much bigger solder pads, or no solder pads at all, they're just point to point wiring.
Trim away some of this excess, and then we'll get to the uh, to fix some of the pieces that I couldn't get to. So that's got uh, all those done. Oh, we forgot one. This chip is going to be a pain. That is such a tiny socket. Okay. Well, that turned out better than expected. Okay, so our remaining connections are for the speaker, which I may have to trade out for a set of headphones. I don't know if this thing will be able to drive this speaker. It may be just barely audible. The speaker's temporary, that's why it's phone cable. This whole thing is just driven by one and a half volts, so I'm just going to hook up a double A battery to it. It's not even going to have a switch. The last things that need to be hooked up are an antenna and a variable capacitor. For the antenna, I'm just using a simple um, ferrite rod antenna. Uh, this is, I think, mostly designed for some kind of loop antenna or ferrite rod antenna. I suppose you could hook it up to some other type of antenna. I'm not really sure how that would work. And the variable capacitor. And this is one I pulled out of an old AM radio. Ironically, I made the holes for the antenna and the capacitor way bigger than they needed to be. Sure, 
nothing's touching. All right, uh, let's see. Well, let's find out if this thing works. I don't expect the volume to be very loud. Okay, I'm going to have to move out of my shop and into my um, office and then I'm going to have to trade this out with a something that's more amplified. It's barely audible through the speaker. So, back in a few seconds. Okay, so... Uh, I have this hooked up in here. Let me turn off the, as much noise as I can. Um, unfortunately, because I'm so close to that one transmitter, this thing seems to only get one station. Uh, so if I plug it in, you're hearing the uh, The input from my my uh, computer. It's not very loud, and it's very difficult to tune this thing. Um, when I was looking for a, a schematic for this, it didn't have one for a tuning with a tuning capacitor. So, but when you ground it. When you ground it. Wait, are you just yapping me? No. Bud Light Seltzer. Unquestionably good. Anheuser Busch Bud Light Seltzer. IRC Beers, Beer in Texas, St. Louis, Missouri. It picks up just fine. AM Phoenix, Arizona's home for the worldwide leader in sports. But it is ESPN 620. It gets this one station because that's all it's what's nearby. Just completely swamping me out. Welcome to the Cardinals Red Sea Report. So there you go. That's as uh, good as I can do right now without uh, doing a whole bunch of experimenting later.